Welcome to this radio video and today we're going to show you how to decode a weather chart with FLDG software. So weather charts are broadcast on shortwave uh, mostly for boats at sea. You know they send all the, the weather systems, the uh, uh, ice, if there's any icebergs and stuff like that, they'll have, uh, you know, reports of um, waves and wind. And so, um, you know, it could be very, very useful for ships at sea. And it's, uh, even though with today's technology, you know, in satellite, uh, there's still a lot of weather facts transmissions on shortwave. So here, what you are actually hearing is a weather facts signal. Now, the nominal frequency of this signal is 9110, but I'm in upper sideband and to decode it well, you want to be a little off, about a 1.5 kilohertz below. Now, I got this frequency from the um, HF facts list, and if you look on my videos on my channel, I actually posted a video to show you where to get the latest uh, weather facts list from the National Weather Service in the United States and they have a complete list of all HF facts transmissions throughout the world. Now once you did that, how do you decode with FLDG the weather facts transmissions? Well, it's simple. All you have to do first of all is check the transmission a type of transmission. And here I'm going to show you something. I'm just going to go rapidly to the weather facts list that I have open here on my computer. I'm going to go to Boston uh, list, North America. So here it goes. We got to get the Boston, which is a strong one, usually very strong here. And there are many, many weather facts uh, transmissions from the United States, by the way. So if I go here, Let's just scroll there. Here's what I'm actually using, which is the HF list. And this is the Boston, Massachusetts. The call sign of the station is NMF. And you see that 9110 is one of their broadcast frequencies. And here is the times in UTC. What you need to know is the number on the right. Here it says 120-576. So what you need to know is that this is the setting you need to use. You'll have to choose IOC 576. So you go to your FLDG software, and here we go. In the up mode in the upper left corner, you will choose WeFax. And since you just saw that it was 576, you will choose the IOC 576 mode. And so you should see that at the bottom, it says WeFax 576. Then you have your little waterfall where you need to match the red lines with the transmission. Most of the time, it's quite easy as you see that the WeFax signal has a distinct line here and another one that's a little more faded but on the left side. So what you'll do is match the two lines, the two red lines with the two steps that you see there. So basically the one on the right that's very visible will be on the right side of the red uh, rectangle on the waterfall. And you'll see that the left one goes pretty much at, it's not as easy to see but you see that there's a definitive line in the middle there. Once you do that you'll have to wait. Why? Because this is a fax transmission so it doesn't actually uh, come clear you know in uh, uh, 30 seconds. It slowly will draw on your screen and you see here I have the map slowly drawing its way on my screen. Now, you need to have a good signal to have a nice, clean chart, like the one that's actually coming up right here. Because if you have noise, you'll see lines of noise in the image.
One thing, uh, actually two things that might happen when you decode a weather chart is, and I'll actually make it intentionally not okay. I'll just move the line. If you see a black bar, you see that black bar, now it automatically fixed itself because my uh, automatic centering is on. You see that little green thing and it says a line there on the bottom. Well, if it's not automatic, then you will want to do it manually because it does happen sometimes that there's a black bar right smack in the image. That means you'll need to use the little align cursor where you'll actually move the picture and you want to have that black line on the left side of the screen, total left side of the screen. Now, I have chosen automatic centering so usually it aligns itself automatically. As you see here, it just placed the black line on the left. But there's another thing that you'll want to check for. In my case here, my image is very, very stable. It's vertical. And you'll want actually to use a black line to see if it is vertical, if it's perfectly vertical, or if it goes to one side of the other. And this is what we call slant. Now at the bottom, you also have right to the left of the align, you have the slant. This is where you'll want to actually go and click the little arrows if your image is crooked. So if it goes on one side, you see that the black bar is crooked and going into the right or to the left you'll use these little arrows to actually put it really vertical and that can happen from time to time you'll receive a fax and it's going to be slanted in one direction or the other so two things to check about the align button and the slant now you've seen my align button uh, my automatic align work very well right now why because the signal is very strong but don't worry if you don't align automatically just click the little green button on next to the align and manually align it because it will happen from time to time if the signals a little weak sometimes the program the FLDG cannot detect exactly where's the center of the image so once you choose that it's okay if your images are uh, doubled Sometimes you're going to decode and you say, wow, I have two images side by side, exactly the same. Make sure that the LPM on the left side here is at 120. You know, if you noticed on the list, it said 120 by 576. So you want to match these. You want WIFAX 576, but you also want to have LPM, which is basically kind of the line, uh, line per minute or something like that is set to 120 and that's how you'll get a nice image and then you just have to enjoy the picture if you want to have a full screen view of that picture the best thing you can do is actually save the picture to your computer after it's done or print it out if you want when you hear this this means it's the end of a transmission and as you've just seen it automatically cleared and cleaned up the image from the fax. Now in these transmissions there are often breaks. As you see here there's a break. Don't worry uh, if it's not the end of the schedule time because you'll have to check that on the list and here it is not then just wait a minute or two and you'll see another signal appear. And as the signal appears, you will eventually have a new fax bulletin transmitted. As I said, there are a lot of things transmitted on weather fax. So you can have charts, weather maps, ocean uh, waves. You might even actually see uh, something like text. Sometimes they will actually broadcast a uh, plain old text in fax mode just like sending a fax you know from a fax machine and actually this is a radio fax and I can tell you one thing is that it's not very far from 
the actual way a real fax machine will work in your office for example so uh, it's the same type of uh, machine but it's radioed instead of being sent through a phone line for example so uh, you know get your list get your HF facsimile list uh, check for the video and you'll see where I actually get the list and um, try to decode weather facts bulletins from around the world it's another cool thing you can do with your computer radio and FLDG software so hope you enjoy our videos and uh, hope you're gonna have some fun decoding those weather maps 73